In this video, I would like to talk to you about brand culture. The term brand culture is something that you don't hear that in the context of marketing, branding, and advertising a lot these days. Companies are always looking for short-term solution and there is no room to talk about brand culture, something that is basically a, a, a foundation pillar for your company. There are three things that I like to cover in this video. Number one, the importance of brand culture. Number two, how is that impacting your business growth? And number three, what can you do about it? Let's get started. My name is Javad, I'm the brand builder and marketer for Alive Pro Studios. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel as more videos are coming on an ongoing basis. Point number one, the importance of brand culture. For the past 20 years, we have not received even one call for anybody to ask about brand culture. Can you help me with brand culture? Can you build me a brand culture? Brand culture is a term to many businesses like a invisible cloud in the air. You don't see that, you don't ask for it. But as a marketing company and as a branding company, we often see that, you know what, whatever we do, if the brand culture is not fixed, then you know what, things are not going to work. No matter how much money you spend in your advertising, marketing, branding initiatives, if your brand culture is not right, if you don't have a strong brand culture, it won't be effective as much as you want it to be. On the other side, if your brand culture is strong, you can spend less money, but the return on investment is much bigger. That leads me to my second point. How is that impacting your business growth? On this point, there are two perspectives. Number one is the internal team, and number two is your customer base. The stronger your brand culture with your internal team, the more efficient everything will be after that. The perspective from a customer's is slightly different. I am sure as a customer you've always purchased things, um, products or services for your home, for your family, for your business, right? And sometimes when you make a phone call, you see a business up close and personal, you see that, hey, you know what? You're feeling very comfortable with them. They understand what you're looking for. They help you more than what you want. So that way you make the purchase, but it's not the purchasing side of things. It's that you feel very comfortable and that impacts your decision-making process. Sometimes when you would like to purchase something from another supplier who has got a weak brand culture or no brand culture, you will feel that coldness. You will feel that uh, disconnect. You see that they don't understand what you're looking for. That is a sign of a bad or a weak brand culture. Yes, it has to do with some other points that that individual in sales or frontline might not have enough education, but as a whole, that has to do with brand culture. If the brand culture is to communicate everything with the internal staff and communicate the values with customer base, that is what brand culture is about. Point number three, what are the things that you can do about it? From a business standpoint, the first thing that you need to do is develop a brand culture. If you don't have the capabilities, hire a professional team to help you with that. Now that your team is knowledgeable, you have to make sure that it's communicated properly with your customers and leads and prospects because they see that all the time. Don't forget that today, consumers are much smarter than before. Before they call you, they've done already the research. It's the brand culture that establishes that connection. The takeaway from this video is that brand culture is an important pillar of your company, your product, or your services. Because the return on investment is big, you will be ending up with a much more qualified team to help you. You're gonna be ending up with satisfied customers, repeat business, spending less money on marketing and advertising, and ultimately, business growth. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and looking forward to see you again.